Hello and welcome to the Whitehall Road Sessions from Opera North. My name's Kate Sims and I'm here with some of the musicians from the Orchestra of Opera North who are going to be performing two chamber quintets for you this evening, live from their temporary rehearsal space here in Leeds. Now our first piece is a piece by Mozart. It's his quintet for piano and winds in E-flat major. David Cowan is the head of music for Opera North. He'll also be playing the piano for us. Uh, David, tell us a little bit about this piece. I understand it was one of the first for this group of instruments, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, Mozart loved writing for his friends. Uh, he was a very sociable person, and um, so he wrote for this combination. Um, he was very inventive, and um, it was first performed um, in a big gala concert uh, where he also played two of his concertos. There were arias sung and everything. Um, and um, it's, uh, but it, it's, it occupies a special place because it's the only piece that he wrote for this combination. And I understand of all those 600 or so pieces he wrote during his li lifetime, he did have a special place, as you said, in his heart for this piece. But t tell us a little bit about the background to this. What do we know about it? Well, the background is um, that it was a very um, productive time of Mozart's life. It was uh, 1784, he was 28 years old. Um, and he was really very successful. You know, people think of Mozart as, as dying in poverty. Um, in fact, he mismanaged his affairs, his financial affairs. At this time, things were going very well for him. Um, and um, so I think you get the sense of happiness in this piece. And after its first performance, he wrote to his father and said, I wish you'd been here because I think it's the best piece I've written so far. So really, we've got something to look forward to. If he liked it, we should love it. Let's hope so. Well, I'll let you go and prepare, David. Thanks very much. Uh, now, if you are watching us live, hello, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Please do get in touch. You can find us on social media. We're on Twitter at opera underscore north or on Facebook and Instagram at Opera North. Or you can simply comment if you're watching live on the chat box underneath the player in YouTube. But I think we're all ready for tonight's performance. So without further delay, here is Mozart's quintet for piano and wind in E flat major.
Thank you very much. That was wonderful. I can see why Mike Mozart liked it. And if you did hear any different kind of percussion during that uh, piece, it's, that was the rain thundering down on us here in Leeds. Uh, so to our second piece tonight, this time it's by someone perhaps less well-known, Hurt Zoggenberg's Quintet for Piano and Wind. Uh, Bob Ashworth is on the horn for us. Uh, Bob, what is a horn? Just explain what a horn's doing in a wind qu quintet. <laughs> um blending things together, I think. It's always been a part of a wind quintet uh, ever since contemporary of Beethoven's Antonin Reicher um, sort of established the wind quintet as, as a form. Um, so uh, yes, it's a sort of very much a blending instrument. So do you consider yourself part of the wind section or the brass section? And do you have to play differently depending on what team you're on? Um, I think we regard ourselves as a special case, a special <laughs> section. Always part of the wind, always been associated with the wind, obviously. Uh, and also part of the brass as well, and even play with strings often, just two horns and strings. So it's, uh, we're a bit of a chameleon. So a friend to everyone, let's yes, say. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now let's talk about the next piece. It's Hurd Zoggenberg, as I said. Now he's perhaps less well known than some of his counterparts. Do you think he's underappreciated, maybe? I, I do, certainly. Certainly on, on the strength of this work that we're about to play. Um, it, it was new to me. Um, I knew of the composer, because he'd written a trio for oboe, horn and piano. Um, but this, this was very new, and um, it's a four movement work, uh, very substantial, it's almost symphonic, um, and the big difference is the, in the texture of the, of, the, of the music. I mean, it's very, he, he did initially follow Wagner, but then when he'd studied some Bach, he, he went towards Brahms, uh, and this is very sort of influenced by Brahms. In fact, he, he married a pupil of Brahms, a piano pupil of Brahms's, and um, so they were, they were quite intimate, they were uh, linked. And, and do you think this piece sits well with the piece that we've just heard from Mozart? Uh, well, yes, absolutely. I mean, apart from the fact that it's for the same combination of instruments, so it's, uh, that's handy. Um, um, but yes, it's a real contrast. I mean, the, the, the texture is so um, much thicker and denser than the Mozart, which are very clear, clean. I mean, this is... This is quite quirky in places as well, sort of quite a lot of cross rhythms in the, in the third and, and fourth movements, and uh, almost a sort of Hungarian trio section in the, in the last movement, which is quite amusing. Lovely. So lots to look forward to. Uh, thank you very much. Now, if you heard some noises off there, that's just us changing piano players and cleaning it all down. But without further delay, I think we're ready. This is Hurt Zoggenberg's Quintet for Piano and Winds.
very much. That was really invigorating. Uh, that brings tonight's performances to an end, but there is one final Whitehall Road session next Thursday. That's at 6 o'clock on Thursday, the 27th of May, when you can look forward to performances of Ravel's String Quartet and Britain's Fantasy Quartet. Now, that will be our last performance virtually, at least for a while, because next month, live performances with real-life audiences do return for Opera North, uh, beginning with performances of Beethoven's only opera, Fidelio. You can find out more about that on the website at operanorth.co.uk. But do join us next week for the final virtual performance. Uh, thank you so much to all of our performers this evening. Thank you for watching, and very good night.